Solve each equation. So now we just have more exponent rules. Again, we have to look at both sides and say in A, is there a way that I can get both sides to be the same base? We've got the numbers 2, 8, and 2. On your powers chart, that doesn't give you very many options. In fact, the number 2 is only on one column of your powers chart. It's in the powers of 2. So can we change 8 to a power of 2? Yes. So on this side, we have 2 to the x. 8 is 2, 2 cubed. And the cube root of 2, we have to use our power rules. And a cube root can be written as a power of 1 third. So now all the bases are the same, but we don't have a single power on the left side and the right side, so we have to use more exponent laws. What's the exponent law when you're multiplying and you have the same base? You add the exponents. So I would have 3 plus 1 third. How do I add fractions? I need a common denominator. Are you okay if I just say that's 9 over 3 plus 1 over 3 would give me 10 over 3? And this is where we get to go, so now that we have that, what could x possibly be? x is 10 thirds. Yeah, I want the so with three dots. Yeah, I like it. No, there's no year. Because technically, we're doing something common sense from this step to this step rather than mathematical. Okay? Mathematical, the step that you would need to do to get from here to here, the step you would need to show is you would need to take the log of base 2 of both sides. Make sense? No. That went right, you were like, what? So are you, I hope you're okay with just at this point, we're using mathematical common sense to go from here because we don't have an operation to undo exponents yet. Okay. Good. Second example. More exponent laws. And we've got the numbers 125 and 625. Are those in the same column on any of your powers? Powers of 5. So I can change 125 to 5 cubed. And I'm going to take my time because I'm, well, I'm going to take my time so I don't make mistakes, and then I make a mistake. One twenty five is five cubed, six hundred and twenty five is five to the four. And I'm taking my time because there's a lot of exponent rules here, and sometimes if you try to do too many exponent rules at once, you make catastrophic errors. So what do I do with the square root? It's the same as a half. So I would have five to the three to the half, and then this to the two x plus one. And on this side, cube root is the one third. Yeah, so we got to make sure we don't get lost in the rules. What did I change? What's different from line one to line two? My square root's gone. What's in there in place? An exponent of a half. I still have these brackets, and I still have the 2x plus 1 outside. Take a look at it. Can you see that? Okay, what happened here? The cube root went away, and now I have an exponent of a third. What's your exponent law for an exponent to an exponent? Multiply. So I'll do this one in two steps on this side, again, taking my time. How do I multiply 3 times a half? Is it 3 over 6 or 3 over 2? 3 over 2. Multiply numerators, multiply your denominators. And I would still have the 2x plus 1 out here, 
And on this side, if I multiply, 5 to the 4 thirds. And I have, again, an exponent to an exponent. So what do I have to do again? I need to multiply. And when I multiply here, I'm going to need to distribute. 3 halves times 2x, 3x, 3 halves times 1, plus 3 halves equals 5 to the 4 thirds. We had to go through a lot of exponent rules to get to the place where we had both sides with the same base, a single power on both sides. And now we can do the so 3x plus 2, or 3x plus 3 halves has to equal 4 thirds. How would you solve for x? Subtract the 3 halves on both sides. Now, if I'm going to have 4 thirds minus 3 halves, how do I subtract fractions? I need a common denominator. Are you okay if I change the 4 thirds to 8 over 6 and the 3 halves to 9 over 6? So then I get 3x equals negative 1 over 6. How do you get x by itself? Divide by 3. Dividing by 3 is same as multiplying by 1 third. To multiply by one third give, gives me that x is equal to negative one eighteenth. Lots of exponent rules. Again, the main goal is to get both sides as a single power with the same base. Okay? And if you can do that, then you can do the so step, and the rest is easy. If you can't do that, this method doesn't work. This method will only work if we can get the bases the same. Okay, questions 9 and 10. Start working on those now.